You right guys, Mr. Juggy here and welcome to a brand new multiplayer video and it's Multiplayer Monday. I'm going to try and keep this uh, weekly thing, Multiplayer Monday and maybe Top 5 Tuesday, something like that. You know what I mean, like alliteration in it, uh, something like that. And I tried live comming this guys, I know you guys want to see more live com and I personally want to get better at it. It's just the gameplay started to get weak and I don't play good, I don't can't concentrate, I can't concentrate when I'm uh, commentating it as well and I'm not a natural speaker when I play COD, I'm more of a concentrator so the gameplay will get better but at the start I just didn't play well. So let's just get into the majority of the video and what I'm going to be talking about today and it's basically how, could, how to get Dark Matter quick and a quick and easy tips and tricks so number one is headshots you need to do free for all and concentrate on accuracy and a reflex sight something like the red dot that I've got on the faro faro right now I'm getting plenty of headshots I might actually count up how many headshots I do get in this uh, gameplay but it's it's about five five games really good on average it might be 20 games I think if you're getting five uh, every game which is really useful and the second tip is to get headshots and to get the time and to be really careful with your headshots and use it efficiently is to get as many stunning things as the lethal like I've got two shock charges on now and I've ditched the Semtex or the grenade because I just don't need those sort of kills I need headshots I'm rocking a heat wave which basically just stuns them for about five seconds completely stuns them that's really really useful extremely useful and it's just something that I really enjoy using because it's you can run into a, a room you can rush into a room of like five people stun them all and get five very easy headshots and my next point is if you need to get revenge kills I would more than likely go on hardcore uh, free for all because hardcore free for all because they don't know where the position of the map and they might not know the layout you might just sit in a corner and hardcore is really easy you can pop out the corner yeah. when they're not expecting you and shoot them before they shoot you it's a really simple revenge method and uh, that's number three number four is long shots again hardcore it's so easy the shiva is a one hit kill in hardcore so is uh, the m8 it's about a two hit kill the oh, i forgot the name of it now the Man of War is a one hit kill if you put all the right attachments on it. So hardcore for long shots is incredibly, incredibly useful and really will help you get those uh, camos up really quickly. And number two is just taking your time. You cannot get rushed, you cannot get annoyed when you're going for that dark matter grind. It's taken me about uh, a week to get diamond in my assault rifles and I'm just rocking the uh, Ferro, like I said before, which is the last submachine gun that I need to get to get diamond, so I'm well on my way to Dark Matter. With the snipers, you can't really, there's not a method, is there really, for snipers? It's really hard. I would object to doing uh, free for all just because it's so close quarter. If I were you, I would do uh, maybe just TDM, some simple gameplays like that would really help you, and maybe for the kills like get 100 kills without attachment and uh, fi no 50 kills with attachment 50 kills without attachment uplink uplink is a key game feature it's about 10 minutes 10 15 minutes and you can easily get 60 kills and then 10 15 minutes and it's just really good now this will be the end of the video guys if you do enjoy this video please drop a like subscribe and comment on where to improve my next black ops 3 video but until then i hope you enjoyed the gameplay and i will see you in my next one Goodbye. You're right, guys. Mr. Juggy here, and welcome to a brand new Black Ops 3: The Eisendrack Theory video on the on the new Easter egg that we're gonna have to discover and explore in the brand new map. 